these uh, little cheap remote controls. It's an RF uh, radio frequency remote. Uses this little controller, little itty bitty tiny controller. I hope it works. This is only pulling like two amps. This is a 12 amp uh, controller. I've noticed on some of the uh, reviews on Amazon that they don't, they're not lasting, but I'm wondering if, uh, if they're using a three amp instead of, you know, a higher amp, because I've seen like at least three or four different amp ratings on some of these. Most of the ones you see have this, you know, barrel connection type. Uh, but these, uh, but this one's a wired uh, soldered type, so I can, I'm gonna sh heat shrink to these things. So let's get, let's get this in. Oh, we gotta turn the soldering iron on again. <laughs> Do that every time. This is adhesive lined. Hopefully it'll help seal it up a little bit so it doesn't corrode inside.
cord's just a little long. I, I, I'm leaving it a little long just so I can, uh, <clears throat> if I need to get in here and, uh, uh, you know, take this, this controller out and replace it or something. You know, I still got plenty of wire. Uh, but that's pretty much it on this, so, yeah. Actually, you know what? I think I put the wrong end on it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn it. Okay, well, <laughs> let's try this damn thing again. Maybe I'll put the right damn one on this time. <laughs> oh, I swear. <laughs> You can see this or not this is supposed to be 18 gauge and this is 18 gauge that's a big difference Flux. I'm trying to epoxy it in and see if that'll work. I think that'll work. 
still need to put the uh, the plug in there. I gotta get some silicon for that. And the battery just sits right in there. This is gonna be battery operated. But you can also, uh, with the, the hole there in the side, I'm gonna have a couple of these with um, um, well, that's hardwired. Scrubbed it up a little bit. It's a lot more shiny now. No more algae and no more of that white uh, aluminum oxide. Got a couple more outside. Clean that one up and that one I scrubbed the other day. Basically, I secured that by uh, adding some silicon adhesive because the this wire right here, the orange wire, really wasn't big enough, and I couldn't find one of these uh, watertight fittings that went down to this. I think this is like 10 millimeter or something like that. Uh, so this is actually a piece of the outer sheathing of the original wire, and this just so happens to fit in there pretty snug. But just to make sure it's watertight, I and, and the fact that I needed some lubricant to help get the wire through that I, I put silicon ad adhesive inside it and then on top of this, so it all you know basically uh, acted like a lubricant and now it'll it'll cure overnight and it'll be watertight. And I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, I put a couple zip ties to act as a strain relief, and I. The power supply, I had no way of really securing it very well, so I just uh, used silicon adhesive and glued it down. Then I'll wire tie all the wires up and wire this up, and this is this thing's ready to go. Too bad out here. I kind of like it. Landscaping lights and uh, change out the um, white LEDs and put in colored LEDs. It gets a lot nicer looking. Throw some light. Not sure how well that 
comes through. <laughs> the bad thing about these little uh, screens on your uh, on your camera, I mean, you, you know, a lot of times you guys can see it, and then when I'm looking at it on the screen here, I can't see anything. Beautiful sunset.